Like a wave returns to the sea Into the blue They change but in a cycle That I can't lose Each painful but delightful To live through You came into my life Just like a season Not for long, just a time hello guys and welcome back to my channel thank you all for being here so in today's video i just want to deep clean my kitchen it's been a while since i did deep clean my kitchen like i deep cleaned my kitchen when i was moving into this house that is a few days after moving into this house and i haven't been uh, able to do it again so i'll start with the windows that curtain also i cleaned it when i moved in in here and i haven't cleaned it again so i want to clean in as much as it doesn't look dirty but trust me it's dirty i want to clean it and also i want to clean the windows it's a must whenever i'm cleaning the kitchen i have to clean the windows so i'm using the dishwashing uh, liquid soap to clean the windows and also use a towel that i've put aside specifically for this uh, for the windows so i'm going to scrub the windows scrub the metal part and also the glass part when i'm up through the night I, can't turn I love using the liquid dish detergent because it really performs well and doesn't leave any stains compared to the powdered ones. If you use the powdered uh, detergents, they tend to leave some cloudy stains and they don't look good on the window. So after I'm done scrubbing, I'm going to splash some water and let it just run down. And then I'll still do the same from the outside. I have to clean from the outside. There's a lot of dust from the outside because in this balcony we sit there a lot uh if you have a balcony on the kitchen window you know very well if you sit outside there you just have to have this place to be clean so i'll be scrubbing it again also and then also run the water and i'll leave it to dry mama told me before you leave if there's only one thing you remember from me child when you're out on your own After some time, I'm going to come in with the pixel window and glass cleaner, spray it and also use a different cloth to wipe uh, the, all the windows. This pixel uh, glass and window cleaner is just magic, I'm telling you. It gives uh, the windows a very good shine. I love it. And also the nestle part where it, it, uh, the part where it sprays is so good. The sprays are so thin, like uh, I love it. I just love it. And I love using it because it performs so well. It doesn't leave any marks, as you can see when I'm wiping, and there is no struggle. I can't turn down the noise, say all the worries out of my mind about who I'm supposed to be. I start to believe. I can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away. They were simple at times. Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me after the windows, I have to organize this space, but I'll start by washing the few dishes that are available, just a few of them, but I'll remove everything from the rack and also wipe it uh, before I can start uh, putting anything on it. I'm using some water and vinegar mix to actually wipe this rack over here. This rack is metal and it rusts because you're using salty water. If you're looking forward to be buying a rack, please don't uh, buy this one if you're using salty water. It really rusts a lot. In the middle, it's so rusty and I can't help it but feel so bad. But I'm still grateful that I still have it. It's only the middle that has rusted. These uh, edges are still okay. So I've uh, always just... Uh, 
uh, used vinegar and water mix just to wipe it. I don't want to continue using salty. In as much as I put the dishes and they drip water, it's okay. But when I'm wiping, I just use the vinegar and water mix. So I'll do the dishes and then we'll be doing something else after that. I do my dishes I don't go extreme with my pots I just wash them like I would wash my dishes but I do schedule days where I do go thorough with my pots I did a video on how to take care of your stainless steel pots if you haven't been able to watch that please go and check it out we have amazing tips on how to take care of your stainless steel pots and those tips really work out for me Compass was wrong, and I'm still on my way. Lost in these streets of where I belong. I'm still rolling the dice, praying sometimes. And don't let's stay long. I'm losing my faith. I'm walking away from what you knew all along. Mama told me before you leave, if there's only one thing you remember from me. Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders I've run out of cereals and I want to clean all this jars before I can restock. You know dust mites always invade the jars that have cereals so it's good to always clean your jars before you can restock. So I'll remove everything from up there. Make sure the place is clean and also organize the entire cabinet. I'm supposed to be a star to believe. Can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away. They were simple at times. do you get a good feeling after cleaning the kitchen honestly i do like the pantry whenever i reorganize it and uh, seeing the jars that are very sparkling clean that is so satisfying nothing is so satisfying like having a very clean kitchen I got these jars from Mason Jars. They are on Facebook. I will also pin their number on the description box. If you are interested, you can check them or call them. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise. Say all the words out of my mind. About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe. I can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away. It was simple at times. Most times I soak this spoon holder and also the spoons just to keep the shine. I soak them in baking soda and also some vinegar and some water for like one hour before I can scrub them. I 
to remove everything from this cabinet and start wiping the cabinets because we have stains over there we have some dust so i want to remove everything from there put them on this lower cabinet tackle the upper side before i can return everything and with my cabinet i'm using the maxel uh, ox oxygen cleaner i love maxel oxygen cleaner i have said this over and over again in this channel because this product is so good it gives a good shine and it has a very uh, good smell so that is why i love using it and it serves me so well like i've stayed with this maxel uh, uh, multi-purpose cleaner for a long time I just spray just a little bit and it gives a very good shine so i'll return everything after that but uh some of uh, these glasses this glass jar gets stained so fast and with the stain because this is a glass i just use the glass and a window cleaner that is the pixel to wipe the outside of the glass it doesn't combine, contaminate everything inside there because the lid is uh actually it's an airtight so it can never contaminate that place that is why i'm using the pixel uh, window and glass cleaner to clean the stains that are on the glass jars Lately, this part over here is so confused. I don't know what to do about it, but I have a plan with it. I will get to organize everything over there. I will also wipe and also put things in place. My compass was wrong, and I'm still on my way. I want to change everything over here bring these cups the gray cups and put them on the other side as i put uh, the dishes over that place that has cups and also this side i'll be putting the cups that we don't use mostly the plastic ones as i uh, get the space i'm yet to get the space to put everything inside there and get the kitchen look a little bit neat the seasons come and go like thoughts of you like a wave returns to the sea into the blue they change but in a cycle 
that I can lose Each painful but delightful to live through You came into my life just like a night season Not for long, just a time, just like a night season It's been quite a challenge trying to organize this kitchen, honestly, when you don't have the drawers or where to put the utensils, it's a very, very bad challenge, but I'm yet to uh, fix that. But in the meantime, I'll organize this rack over here because I want to be putting all the lids and all the things that I'm not using on that rack. That is the only way I can help myself because as you can see, that space doesn't have anywhere to put anything. So I'll wipe it down and then I'll organize everything on it. Um, you came into my life just like a season. Not for long, just a time, just like another season. Maybe this time next year you'll be here for no reason. But I'll cherish every day until you come my way this season. In this stand, I normally store all my spoons, all my lids, so I want to remove everything from there and also wipe it. It's been a while since I did that, so I'm going to wipe it as well. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you. Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue. They change, but in a cycle. If the things that I always clean in this kitchen is the microwave, I wipe it every day. But I'm using the mixture of water and vinegar to wipe it in the inside. On the glass part from the outside, I'm going to use the pixel window and glass cleaner to wipe on the outside. The reason why I'm using the vinegar and water mixture to wipe the microwave is because I still insist that salty water does rust things. And uh, it's not good to wipe your microwave with a piece of cloth that has salty water. So I prefer using the vinegar mix from the inside and on the glass part I just use the pixel just to give it a good shine and then on the bottom part of this stand I'm still going to wipe it because most of the time I put things there and there are a lot of stains so I'm, I'm going to wipe it as well I'm going to also wipe the fridge but I'm going to use the vinegar and uh, water mixture still the fridge is always affected with the salty water that is why i'm also using the mixture of water and vinegar through the night i can't turn down the noise say all the words out of my mind about who i'm supposed to be i start to believe I can't get it right remember the days i let slip away they were simpler times Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your 
I do use the oven a lot, but I've never been thorough with it. So I'm going to go in with the Maxell oven cleaner, spray it in the inside, let it rest for like 10 minutes. After it has rest rested, you won't be seeing the foam, but this really does magic. I'm telling you, I think all the products from Maxell um, cleaners are just so good. So I'll spray everywhere and then I'll come back with a cloth and wipe it uh, down. I'm telling you from the inside, it was so greasy until that cloth really turned uh, so dark and I wasn't able to use it. I had to change the, uh, to a different piece of cloth. Then later on, I went in with a mixture of vinegar and water just to give it a good shine. Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I'll bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing, dancing on the moon I'll bet my life You'll be dancing on the moon Having soaked it in the Maxell oven cleaner, those are the stains that came out. So I want to return everything inside here and then I'll be going to now organize the surface of the kitchen and restock and then we'll do a different thing. Compass was wrong, and I'm still on my way. Lost in these streets of where I belong. I'm still rolling the dice, praying sometimes. Don't let me alone. I'm losing my faith. I'm walking away from what you knew. I always restock on my cereal just once until they are finished. That is when I can restock again. This is pishori rice. That pishori rice is mainly for the children. That is why I buy it. So I also restock on the beans. Those are nyayo beans. I love, love lots of uh, beans on my cereals. I also bought some uh, lentils. Lentils are so expensive. I don't know why. I bought some green grams. I bought other variety of green grams. But this other variety was also so pricey. And I also restocked on some popcorns uh, just for a snack when the kids come from school. I love combat beans. These are combat beans. And they are always my favorite. They are not so pricey, but they are so good. I'm telling you, these are the kind of beans I do love. <laughs> I will now organize all the jars up there. I was to label the jars again, but I had misplaced the pen that I use in labeling the jars. But still, these cereals are visible. It's easy to see through what is inside the jars. So I just opted to leave it like that until I get the pen. Then I'll label that place. This place has been so full lately. I don't know where to store other things, but um, I'm soon getting the extra storages to uh, be able to store everything up there. And then I'll come to the surface place, remove everything, tidy up the place, wipe it down, wash anything that is on the sink, and then I'll be mopping the floor. Like the floors is so messy. I've thrown like everything there. Everything that uh, is not needed, I just threw it on the floor. And I also, uh, in this small basket, whatever that I uh, wasn't able to go into the jars, I just put it there. Like uh, those cereals that uh, can't fit anymore in the jars, I, I just put them there. I'm very grateful that you've been here to watch me up to this point. If you've been able to be here until this point, thank you so much. And uh, to my returning subscribers, thank you also so much. If you're a new uh, subscriber here, thank you also so much. 
and if you're watching me for the first time and you haven't subscribed please do consider subscribing in this channel we do everything about home from cleaning motivational videos to uh, homemaking videos to also cooking uh, different recipes if that is the kind of content that you love please consider subscribing to this channel and let us keep growing together so i'll do the dishes here and also wash the spoons that i had soaked uh, in the vinegar and baking soda mixture that the purpose of me soaking those spoons is just to remove the rust if there is some rust on anything still it it will remove all of it and it will give the spoons a very good shine always reconsider cleaning uh, going thorough with your kitchen you can clean anything in your kitchen you know where we store our things sometimes there are things that have expired and you can't notice that I'll wipe the surfaces using the water and vinegar mix. Vinegar mix does give a good shine. That is why I'm using it on my surfaces. These flowers, I got them uh, like uh, one week ago and they are so good. Um, they are still fresh in as much as they have started shedding, but they are so good. I love putting flowers in the kitchen. I can even put flowers in the bathroom. There is no... Uh, place that is not suitable for flowers so i love putting them in the kitchen most of my times i spend in the kitchen and i love seeing flowers in the kitchen so this place over here is so messy as i was cleaning i was throwing everything down in that basket i've decided to soak all the towels that i've used then i'll be washing them later in the day after i'm done cleaning so i'll pick everything from this place and then i'll be mopping the floors with the floors i'm just using the liquid detergent that we use in washing our dishes Dishes. I'm not using hot water today. I just decided to use cold water and use that liquid detergent. Have you ever broken anything that is so precious to you in the kitchen? That is the feeling that I have right now because as I, wa I was washing the jars, I did put the oil jar on the edge and uh, when I was removing the jars, it slipped and fell down. I felt so bad. I've been taking care of that oil jar for a long time and I've never thought that one day I'll be careless and break it. But it has broken there's nothing i can do about it so i'll be sweeping this place over here and then i'll go in with just a mopper and uh, the liquid detergent i love using a duster not a mopper i'm going to use a duster because it is fast i'm able to get over with the kitchen and uh, also mop every corner of the kitchen i will be uh Going thorough with uh, most of the corner of the kitchen, pull the gas cooker and also wipe the places that, that we normally ignore when we are mopping the floors. Turn down the noise, say all the words out of my mind About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe I can't get it right I hope this video did motivate you to be able to go inside your kitchen and try to be thorough with it. Try to look around whatever that you don't need anymore and remove it from the pantry and be able to uh, wipe every corner of your kitchen. The purpose of such videos, as I always say, are just to motivate you to clean your space and, and keep your space as neat as possible. I'll freshen up the drainage by using baking soda and vinegar. I'll pour it inside and then I'll be using hot water as well.
compass was wrong And I'm still on my way Closer each day to where I belong I'm still rolling the dice Praying sometimes and Don't let's stay long I'm losing my faith I'm walking away from what you knew all along Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing, dancing on the moon I bet my life You'll be dancing on the moon it's dinner time and I want to prepare some dinner. I have a mango here that I'm washing. I want to use this mango as a marinade. If you've been here, you know I love using mangoes a lot whenever I want to bake something. And today I have something that I want to bake. So first of all, I'll peel the mango, dice it down, and then I'll be adding some onions into that mango and also uh, blend them. I'm using the oil as a base and also sprinkle some salt. Later on, I'll be adding paprika into that mixture of uh, mango and onions. If there's only one thing you remember from me, child, when you're out on your own. This is what I'm making today. I'm making some turkey and it's a very young and tender turkey. I decided to get a young and tender turkey because it cooks faster. Since I want to bake it, that is why I went for the tender one. I'm going to wash it. It is so fresh, very fresh. It came in as fresh as it is. I'm going to score it, put lines on it so that the marine can just go into every corner of the turkey. Mama told me before you leave. If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are When it comes to chicken or anything chicken, I love using this uh, marinade. So for the turkey, I also opted to use this marinade. I added some mangoes. That mango is underripe, has a little bit of tanginess and also has some sugar. I also added some white onions, some garlic and also some paprika. That combination is just magic. You can use that marinade also in chicken. But today I decided to use that marinade in the turkey and it's so good so i'll align my tray with some foil and then some parchment paper and then i'll also cover it with a foil at this point the camera went off so i decided to skip that part but i baked the chicken here i have some rice if you know this rice this rice is so good this is wild rice but um it is more of western uh western part of uh, africa rice it's called ofada yeah, it's called ofada but i call it wild rice that is how it looks like it has some red uh, red ones black ones and also brown ones it's more of a very nutritious rice i love it and it says so good when it comes to chicken or turkey 
it's so good so i'll remove the chaff from the rice because there is a lot of that inside there and then i'll be soaking it just for like 20 minutes before i can cook it you can just cook it the normal way just like you could cook uh, any rice but as for me i'll be using my pot to cook it because i want it to retain all the natural flavors that i want in that rice. to minimize the arsenic acid that is always present in all the rice it's good to wash it thoroughly like i did wash it like four times until the water it was a little bit clean and then i did soak it for like 20 minutes before i could cook it I'm going to use my earthen pot. I prefer using earthen pot in all uh, the rice that looks like brown. This rice is so nutritious, but it takes a very short time to cook like you would cook a uh, white rice. So I'm adding some uh, hot water inside this pot and also I'll be adding some salt and also some oil. I'm using this uh, emergency cooker to cook it because the oven is still baking the turkey and it's going to take a while. So I'm not going to wait on it it uh since i have this emergency cooker i'm using it so the the turkey is uh cooked but not uh well cooked i'm going to take the juices these juices were so good i'm telling you the taste the natural taste from uh the juices from the turkey are so good so i'm going to take them and then use them in the rice and that really did enhance the flavors of the rice like it tastes so good. I'm telling you that aroma and taste of this uh, ofada or wild rice is so natural, like the natural taste of rice that we used to have before so many brands came and uh, diminished all the taste of the rice this really tastes so good so i'm going to crush some garlic i want to also use this garlic to marinate not to marinate to apply on the turkey just to have more flavors on the turkey the turkey tastes so good better than chicken it has very natural flavors it has good flavors so i'm adding butter into my garlic i'm going to put it in the microwave let it melt a little bit and then i'll be adding in some orange zest i love orange zest orange zest with the chicken or any meat it's so good so i'm going to pull out the chicken and then i'm going to apply the other marinade again and then return it inside let it brown a little bit after it has browned a little bit that is when i'll come uh, in with this mixture this is butter and some orange zest i had uh, grated the orange zest after making the cake and did put it aside i'm going to mix everything well until it is well combined then i'll use it to apply on the turkey just to enhance the flavors of the turkey so the turkey has browned a little bit i'm going to apply it pull it back let it uh sit in the oven for like 10 minutes again pull it out again then apply the rest of the mixture and then we'll be done with this turkey this turkey was so sweet it was so tender it was i don't know how to describe it but if you've ever had turkey before you know turkey tastes better than chicken and it's done it looks so juicy like all the marinade just makes it juicy just look at the way it looks like I'm telling you this dish was am amazing and I served it with some mar uh, some uh, fermented cabbage. Obvious I'll be uh, serving it with fermented cabbage. Fermented cabbage goes well with all the meats. This rice is so nutritious. It tastes so good and everything was so good. If you've been able to watch me up to this point, thank you so much. Until next time, bye guys. Dancing.